Hi guys, today I would like to introduce you to my artichoke plant. This is Melanie and this is on 7B in April time when I was recording this. So artichoke is super, super easy to grow. I started out from seed. Uh, these are the little tiny seeds that I started out in my uh, seed starter machine. Um, they are so, so easy to grow and um, I always wanted a bush and now I have so many. So it's a couple of weeks the, the seed will get to about this big, I mean the start, and then another two weeks uh, the plant will be pushing out two leaves and these are about an inch kind of long, you know, it's pretty chunky, it's something took a bite there but um, it's going to take about uh, four weeks or so, another four to six weeks for this uh, new shoot to come out. These are just the new pair, pair of leaves. And these are the one from the sea starter. I got them probably about six weeks. They have about four leaves. The leaves are pretty long and skinny like this and they uh, saw to, they're kind of like spiky. Uh, so all of these was a success. I every single one of them survived. I love them. I mean, that's so easy to grow. I did not know how easy it was, and um, I've been through this whole process a whole year long. So I started this big guy uh, in March of 2020, and also this medium here. But that same time, and there are. This big, it depends on how much water and how much sunlight and how much room and nutrients in the soil. So one will get really big and then they will just kind of like, you know, one of those kids is kind of like trying to take over the other kids' food. So this one uh, has pushed out flowers. I was kind of a little concerned, but uh, finally I checked it. I was so excited. I got this one stock right in the center. It gives out a few flowers, just like peonies. It gives out really main big flowers, pretty spiky, so be careful. Uh, below there's also a smaller stalk, you know, with, uh, at the lower leaf section there. And if you want really big ones, I guess you're gonna have to uh, pick out and prune out those small ones. With peonies, I will pick out the little ones, but with artichoke, no, I will keep them all. It's okay to have smaller flowers because uh, I like them. I, I can you know make teas I have videos for teas and I also use the leaves for teas these are uh, herbaceous they kind of like uh, they have the root rind zone underneath I mean the roots was massive when I transplanted this oh my god my husband and I we were like t carrying this thing over here um, and they have like shoot to coming out the base and there is a big one right there is also giving out oops i just broke that one is also um giving out big flowers and the small flowers the bottom uh, bottom set of leaves the leaves under the leaves are pretty spiky they got the little thorns just be careful but they are beautiful beautiful bush the silvery in zone 7b here they i was surprised that they were like year round i mean they're like evergreens and I thought it was so cool so I set it out to the side as a a set of, um a line a whole hedge and they grow so fast and this is what it looks like um for the future so next year I should be able to have a whole hedge of silvery looking uh artichokes here and it's gonna be so awesome in my vision I hope <laughs> So right now I just put out eight more so I can't wait let's go to the front I also have here a couple of plants I started out with four also last year as you can see that not as big because they do not have as good uh, a lot of water because I you know and then a lot not a lot of sunshine in the morning it got shaded by that oak tree in the afternoon it shaded uh, by this peach tree it got about from 11 to 4 about 5 hours it will survive it will give you uh, artichokes uh, heart or flowers uh, even you can't get you know you put it in a, a shady area you still can get the leaves a very nice bush 
and uh, this area I don't really do much because it's, it's a little hassle to put it in the front I want to put something that's easy maintenance free easy to do and I stuck four and um, actually only two bushes survived but it's look closer oh that was a rabbit uh, I have some carrots in here the rabbit likes to stay in there but look in the center there is a tiny little flowers is developed has developed already and I can't wait you know so in the center of each little clumps you know with the leaves open up like that you will get at least one flower if you have enough sunshine and the food and the water they take a lot of water last year we have a lot of water so there's a little one uh, it's gonna come out so this year you know every single year this bush is just gonna get bigger and bigger and that was the remnants of the one and the other one which is not much at all so this one it's the same time but you made it in the front um the left side is not giving me any flowers yet but you know it's a smaller and it but it gives out that more shoot so you definitely will get some shoot i mean every year it'll get bigger and bigger i got probably about five to six in this little area here all I do over the year is just put um, uh, clipped grass from the neighbors. I just put them on there, let the worm come up and continue to build the soil up. I haven't put any soil in here, well not much. Um, so just put in that little area. I have a lot of flowers growing in the front. It's, I, can't, I can't wait until it gets bigger. It's, it's, I love artichoke. I can't believe I got this many. but give it a try guys it's super easy here in zone 7b it's an evergreen uh you put it there and you give it some water and you just like do nothing no pass no nothing just already chokes a year later for me and my experience so i hope you enjoyed this video and um this guy was <laughs> even in the, in the winter it was um uh, we had like a couple of uh time a couple of inches of snow at one time and Look at that, it was massive and it was so big. This was before I moved it. And it was just fine. Uh, beautiful though, I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, click that thumbs up button if you enjoy it and subscribe for future videos on Vietnamese home cook, gardening and more. Have a great day and bye bye. If you like artichoke tea, check out my artichoke uh, tea videos. I also use the leaf for the tea, it's so good for your health, good for your liver and everything. So give it a try, talk to you later, bye bye.